Hi, and welcome to Deep Oz Creative Flow again. Um, today we are talking about pockets and circles. So pockets is the junk January, junk journal January by Meg Journals. And then the circle prompt was the Defema Remba prompt by Louisa Heinzel and Barbara from 49 Dragonflies. And these tickets are by tags. These three tags were by Maud Heimstra from her... She, she did a di free digital download for anyone who was getting involved with that. Um, so when I saw this, I just thought straight away um, the album that I'm starting on. So the Cuba, you know, the front page for the Cuba journal thing. Um, so what I was thinking on the back, because I had the other part of the tea packaging the green tea packaging because this already has a pocket in there so it makes total sense to actually use that as a the back of this so before we do that um let me just so what i was thinking of doing is just scoring just grabbing a uh, I'm grabbing a ruler and a sort of scorer. So I'm just going to score along this line. Now I'm not sure if it's going to be big enough, but what what I was thinking is I could always just uh, make the spine a little bit bigger if I do need it any bigger. So you can just see it there. So I'm just going to score again. Ooh. Losing the ruler. Right, so that's hard enough. And just bend that. It's gonna bend it back and forth. Just so it's sturdy. Just using that again to just press that down. It's pretty it's got a few layers on already. So that'll be part of the spine, so that'll be the front. And this is going to be the spine where all the other images and pages will be going in. So, now that we know that's the spine, so what I'm going to do is just butt this up to... I'm still going to centre it so this bit is in the centre. But now I know. I'm just going to get the big scissors. So now I know that I need to cut... Oh, I'm just going to score it. I need to... <laughs> yeah, score it bent there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to cut there and same on the other side. I'm just going to do a rough cut. Let's see how this goes. The line's not very straight, but... <laughs> oh, well. Let's just give it a bash. Super. the best day eh? right this is definitely not straight so i'm gonna avoid i'm not gonna follow the line at the bottom just follow the scissors just going to go in a bit more Sorry, a bit loud. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to make sure that doesn't... Because if I want to put um, an edge or something else on there, then that's still available, isn't it? But all I'm doing now is... Sorry, shall we... I'm just going to turn it over and then just... Oops, sorry. And then just cut along this line. If you want to take your, uh, if you've got a craft knife or something like that, you can use that. I'm just going to eyeball it from using this as a guide. <laughs> Weird angle. That's it. So that's going to be used for something else. Right. Um, so this I will carry on 
in my own time just um all i'm going to do is just cover this but what i was going to do first is use this as a the bit behind so for that all i'm going to do is because i haven't i don't know where i got these two sheets of paper but i've only literally got these two <laughs> so um i need to use them wisely so i'm hoping this will work all i'm going to do is just fold Oops. it's more card than paper what am i saying yeah it's card Right, so I'm just going to cut that. Already got some wet glue ready. So I'm not giving it. Right. And then. Oh gosh. It's not going to do it, is it? Let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see how much it covers. Oh, just about, just about. It's going to miss a little bit here, isn't it? Oh, we're just going to have to live with it. Oh, we've got a bit coming up here. Maybe I could... Actually, let's see how much we can save with this paper. Let's do this. So we've got that peeking out. So I'm just going to cut it to the bit that's not going to be showing. Oh. So you can use that in other places to match the design. Right. Um, I'm going to get the wet glue. Again, I'm using Anita's Tacky PVA glue. And there's no fine nib because um, that just gets clogged up. It, I don't even think I've ever used a nib on it. <laughs> so I'll just do it this way. I either use my fingers or I use, um, if it's really fine things, I use a toothpick. And if it's if, I, if it's more glue in, then I'll just use this spatula, which used to be the children's when they were younger. They no longer use. Right, so what did we do here? Oh dear. Is it that way? Yep, it was that way. And that goes like that. So you can save if you've got really, like, especially because some of these papers are quite expensive as well. Um, and by cutting off what you're not going to see, you're just you're saving it if something else, aren't you? Making it stretch, so to speak. Yeah, that's good. I'm hoping this will work. It's going up a little bit. And we can see what see what is missing. See, I should have really should do with something to meet up with that area as well. So I should I? Let's do this bit first, because that was where you could see the hole. How much can we see this? We want that as a pocket as well, don't we? Okay, we're just going to have to patchwork this in then. Let's see what angles work best. Should we go with... Let's go with this one first. If 
I'll put this card with this soccer ball that blue. Maybe I need a I need a bit of a square edge, don't I? Not square, um flat. Let's cut that and then cut that and pray that it's oh it's just slightly thin. Always leave it a bit bigger if you're not sure. Oops, oh that did well. Take two. Yep, that's better fit. Gosh, I've got ink on my hands and it's gonna hold. It'll dry clear, so I wouldn't worry too much. Once it um, dries, then we can roll it off. Right. Just got a few pieces left, which we will save. We will save those. So, yes. So uh, that is what that looks like. So that will be a tuck, and then this will be tuck. I love it. And this, I'll decorate this with either browns or um, some other like the tea dye papers, and then just go from there. I might stamp stamp some of them beforehand, but that's going to take. A little bit of time, so um, but that's okay. So that that is a project for me to do another time. I will share with you. I'll share it with you once. So the other part of the prompt was circle. So I've got this splattered ink. Um, it, I'd cut out the circle inside and used the outside. So. Maybe we could add this to <laughs> it needs basically it needs ironing. I need to sit on it. Just for some interest, maybe. So we just give it a go and see what happens. Oh, oh my goodness, sorry. I'm gonna knock the whole thing. Apologies. I've also got some other smaller circles that I hand cut out as well, um, which I've made into these. So I'll show you. I'm going to make a few flowers with those. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this is more of an oblong rather than a circle. Just go with it now, come on. Oh, see that because it's so delicate it's gonna tear. Right. Let's stick with that. Oh you got no choice, I'm sticking with it. Um and the other thing I was gonna show you is um if you watch Susie Q makes, um I sent her as part of the uh, five item challenge, I sent her a card like this. So it was from here. So if anyone's looking for this, it is called Mandela Cards, Creative Colouring for Adults. And me and my friend actually coloured these so we could sell them at a vegan fest. Um, the reference number is CR0309 slash GE. Um, batch number 76068. And yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So a lot of them we coloured and some of them are made into calendars. So they were like... I think um, I posted it on a different video and then they stand like that or I did them diagonal so they stand sideways 
But I thought these were perfect. These are gorgeous for circles as well, for the circle prompt. And this I'm actually going to be using as part of, because this is just the right size. So I'm going to reuse this to go in in or the back of um, the Cuba album. I'm just going to call it the Cuba album. And these, I'm not sure what to do with these. So if you've got any ideas of what to do with like the the little bits inside once you tear out the card, be very much grateful to you. Right, so so we've got this as an option as well, which we can cut round. just cut off that bit so it's easier to go into Put the card aside excuse me <clears throat> and if you didn't want it so thick um you could actually take off one of the layers so we could peel this in half if we wanted to. Actually, shall we do that with the other one? Just because then it will be easier to attach and everything. So we'll see. Let's um, let's fussy cut this out first. It's got like this feel film on there, like a coating. Yeah, that's gonna be much better. So that can be used for something else. So now it'll be easy to cut as well, hopefully. Oh gosh. Cut maybe don't maybe don't cut them into the design, eh? These are really not the right scissors because they've got a big edge. Uh, or shall we try with the bigger one see if that makes any difference because they've just got a thinner yeah they do it's got a thinner blade <laughs> yeah it's really relaxing being a mandala colouring them in you're just drawing your own. It's so relaxing. Just kind of just doodle away. See what designs you can come up with. What I always do, is, I'll, well, I say always. Um, what I do is I try to start with a circle and then I'll put, like, then put petals on a flower and then I'll go out with swirls and then, yeah, maybe we could do one together one of the times. There's loads of videos out there anyway already that you can follow along. Super super. Okay, let's put that to the side. So we've got those. And this is something that I got from my mummy, from my mum. Because she had um, some of these, you know, like, um, so if you use the back of the scissors on this, it will curl up for like, and wrapping gifts and stuff like that and this was on there like that on both sides so i've got i think i've got six or seven of these and um circle so we could do something with that as well not sure what yet but something right so i've got so i've got some doilies oh i quite like this as well let's stick this on as well somewhere quite liked um it just says overhang. I think it was from a drink. It's like orange and black in colour. <laughs> from Holland and Barrett. It's some kind of um, health drink. I can't remember exactly what it was. Not very helpful, am I? Sorry. 
Well, let's see if that sticks on there because it's going to curl up a bit, I think. Okay, that's okay. So these ones are not going to use. This was the tissue um, tree, the old RA one, <laughs> if you remember. So let's see how some of these look on a project. I also got out my circles video case. So I've got these which were from someone's wedding, um, which I've just cut out using a die cutting. And I've got these which were backed, backed on stuff. be used for we could use that to actually um so when we actually create the circle from the doily we could use that to go on just spit it out <laughs> just to make something which is um when we make the pocket just make it slightly in rather than full that's what i meant So let's get on with these flowers. So what we need, okay, before we carry on with that, let's just quickly show you some of the other papers that I've found, well, what I've got left of anyway, that I'm going to be putting into the actual Cuba album. So <laughs> I've literally rinsed every single little bit of this. It's so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I've even like I've cut out circles out of all of the, the rest of this. So it's called Everyday Craft Collection um, Craft Sensations by Graphics for Scrapbooking and and that's what it is. So it's got 24 designs and 180 GSM, so it's quite strong. Um, there's no code or anything, but if you you might be able to find it with that on there. Um, so. This is what I've got left. I haven't got much left, to be fair. I've literally only got, actually one was, I had started using um, Tipex on for just a normal correction pen. So I started using that to just create some, um, just some more details on these petals. So depending on where I use it, I might carry it on. But if, when this is turned, so this is the one which has been gutted for something else. Um, so I'm not sure how. I could still use it as embellishments. But for these, what I was thinking is um, I'm going to actually use them as part of the album. I keep calling it, you know, the junk journal. The Cuba, the Cuba project. <laughs> so I'm gonna, this is going to be the perfect size. The long, thin... And then we're gonna next we're just gonna um, make these flowers. And maybe add a pocket, a circular pocket to one of these papers, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's see what time we've got. <laughs> Use brute strength for that. <laughs> yeah, that's one. Could of course use a guillotine or a knife or scissors or whatever you feel necessary, but I'm good with this. Just tearing it across. Right, why not use this then? So let's um let's see what we've got. So we've got this which we could use things in like this then it's both sides will be the pocket okay, should we do that in the center maybe just interesting isn't it with that splattering on it um let me just do this quickly i'm just going to add some glue on the bottom here
then no matter which way we put it in so it could be a top top as well we'll see And pop the glue. Okay, so maybe we could. Cause it's already got a. Maybe we could use it like that as well. Why not? Let's do it. We'll finish that page off. Or shall we? No, yeah. I was going to say, should we use one of these instead? I'm really going to have to think of ideas of adding lots of photos because, yeah, there's a lot. Mainly of the sea, with the skies, the sunsets and that. Yeah, absolutely loads. Right, hopefully that will adhere well. That's going to be crinkly as well. I know it's very thin. Of course, doilies are thin. They're just paper, aren't they? So. This will just reinforce it as well. <laughs> More wobbly. Going down a bit. Hang on. Oh, you're not doing it. Just go on the spine, that will help. Just trying to butt it up right to the edge so that I've got no issues once we put stuff in. Oh yeah, good. Let's just add that there for it to dry. That take no time at all. That's that um we've also got a little owl we could add in, maybe. Just gonna um Brown him up with some vintage photo distressing. I'm just gonna dab it in for her. <laughs> Got plenty of glue here, so make sure I get all the bits and his little branch. Put an actual branch on there. Um, do I have it to hand right there? And then put it over hand. Okay. Shall we use this? Maybe actually put it on there because, and then we could actually do an overhang. <laughs> that makes sense. Quite like that showing as well. What shall we do? Let's idea that first. Yeah, let's idea that first. Not all the, I don't think we'll need all of this. So I want it to come off the edge a touch. Let's sit down. Let's do that side angle, shall we? Okay. 
Oh, we're hanging. I can add a bit more glue under there, it's not stuck. I know some of it we're going to cut off anyway, but just make sure what's on the paper is on there. I'm fine with the bubbles. I don't think that was going to be straight anyway. I'm just going to grab the scissors. Scissors. And just cut the back so we can just see where we're, where we're going with that. And to add a bit more detail to the corners, maybe we can cut this in half. Not on this page, not on this page, um, just behind it, directly behind it. Yeah, I'm just eyeballing it. <laughs> as long as it's the right angle, it's chilling. Uh, there we go. Hopefully we've got enough glue, so I'm just going to add these to the corners like this. Um, I might actually add them like this because then you can add pictures or stuff like that in there. That might be better. Should we do that? No, oh, wait. That? Yeah, should do a double. What do you think? What do you think? Let me go in a bit because then we can ink the edges after. Let's see why not. Shall we do that or shall we do that? Then we can centre that corner. Yeah, I prefer this actually. Yep, yeah, let's do this. And then all we're doing is just the edge. So because we want to tuck stuff in here. Just a thin bit on the edge. If you've got red double sided tape, the really super strong one, um, that would work as well. You could just cut it to size. So you would usually use that, but I've got the glue out today, so I don't mind. Don't mind either. in a bit that's it only the edge only the edge don't do the whole thing all right all right <laughs> i'm glad i placed you first now i know where you go back roughly there <laughs> Now, do we want to add this circle in there? Just for interest. I'm just using whatever's on the. Because this was. Oh, sorry, stupid. That was the table. This was from. Um, I made some baubles and the, you know, the inside image. Sure, I did them all on sticky back. Now the trouble is opening the sticky back. That is, if it is that, I'm sure it is that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I didn't make it up. I'm just gonna lift that tiny bit. It's just tucks under there. Stick that back down because them edges would. What are you doing? Should have done that first. It's alright, it's alright. No harm done. Now this will match perfectly. If we've got enough glue. Beautiful. Dry, die cut dragonfly. 
Hier dann. Ja. Do whichever way you want. Right. Um, so we're going to come to these. So these are also circles. That's what I was going to tell you. And all they are. So it's the circle. So this was part of the. Um, this is the shopping list. Remember. So it's just that was. So all it is is just small folding and a small folding and then you got like that petal shape and that's all you got to do so i know we keep going over time so it's, but so all we're doing is popping some glue on here now and then let's just start with the this one let's go with the Crayon one. Not the one which has says noodles on there. <laughs> the coloured one. Actually, now should we go? Have we got any more? I think we only had two of the the the, the, the flowers on there. Oh yeah, yeah. We only had two of these, so let's use it. And then we can go the patterned one. I need to squeeze one more in there. Put the writing again. Oh, come on, squeeze in there. <laughs> yeah, and that's that. So that's a beautiful. Actually, that could have gone there. <laughs> that's okay. Um. So I hope you enjoyed. Enjoyed that. Um. So that is the prompt for. Oh, actually, shall we put this somewhere? Let's pop this in there. Should we put it there? Yeah, let's pop it there. So that was our pocket and circle prompt. We're almost winning. Oh, don't glue it to the wrong bit, love. There we go. She said, let's go off the circle. That's it. Right then, so that's the things that we made. So we made this corner. Oh no, we stuck this whole thing down. Yeah, so we've just done that. We didn't do a pocket for that. Or a tuck. And these are corner ones. So we can add photos and things. And that's another tuck. And here as well. And then the other... The other one was where we are going to decorate the pockets so i'll show you that next time um i don't even know if i've actually met the brief for the um prompt because i think i've done tucks rather than uh pockets but that's okay <laughs> you take care for now